So if you haven't noticed lately, I've been on a bit of a Kingdom Come Deliverance kick again. So we're going to go hardcore. We're going to select all the negative perks. They're honestly not that bad, but you do have to be a bit more cautious. Uh, I'll put them in the description if any, or in the comments if anybody's not sure what they are, but let's not uh, waste any time. Now, the biggest challenge here is we are doing one life. If we die, the campaign's over, run ends, I delete the game, whatever. However you want to call it. So this is going to be a very interesting one, that's for sure. So we're going to take strength in the beginning because we're going to be doing some pretty shady things. And we're probably going to be knocking everybody out. And we need to make sure we have enough strength to overpower whoever we're going up against. And I'm going to be skipping, just so you know, if, if you've never played the game before, uh, there's a lot of cutscenes. It's very story driven. This campaign or this run is going to be more geared towards just kind of having fun, playing the game and not so much following the storyline. So if you're looking for that, this is probably not the right campaign. But if you just want to see some fun, you know, douchebaggery, then uh, this is... Uh, it should be fun. So let's go ahead and eat all the food. We'll take all the food we can, grab the stuff from the box. And just so you know, I'll probably end up editing like 80% of this out. This game is really, really fun in certain parts. And then it's a little grindy and kind of boring on other parts. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong. It's really fun for the very, very beginning. But for certain parts, like the storyline, if you've already played the game once or twice, it's really tedious to have to go through all the chat like we're doing right now. So like I said, I'll probably be editing most of this out. And, uh, you know, like Bannerlord, I usually keep about 40 to 50 percent. In this one, I'm only going to be keeping maybe 20 percent. So should be really fun. You're going to be getting a really distilled version of what what's actually going on. So uh, let's not do anything too shady just yet. We'll, we'll get all the main stuff done. But we won't turn everything into father. So we'll we'll go talk to Kunish. We'll make sure we get our lock picks. We're not gonna fight him, so we don't want to get into a fight just yet. We want to be able to get the lock picks. We can come back and beat him up later, it's not a big deal. A lock chest. Yeah, so we gotta go to Fritz. Fritz might have one. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Hey. <laughs> Henry's come to see us. That's like the and most famous fun. line from this game. Right, we'll get him walking up there because he takes forever to get his slowpoke boat up there. So we'll go see him in a little bit. Well, we'll definitely go deal with, do the fight. We got to talk to Fritz first. Get those lock picks. There's our lock picks. We got to get something from Bianca. Now we want to try again. I'm going to edit all this stuff out, but I'm going to try and do all the chat options that we can so we can get um, maxed out speech and I, I would actually like to turn this into an ultimate challenge where we do everything we can cover getting all the skills up to max i don't know if that's even f i know it's doable i don't know if it's something that can be done in a reasonable amount of time so we'll see for strength our first pick for sure we're going to do grave digger this makes it so that you don't use as much stamina when you're um, carrying people they only burn you half as much we're going to be toting bodies around left and right so for sure that's going to be a thing now Another thing that we should probably do is pick lots and lots of herbs. I think the last time I did this, it took me about an hour, hour and a half to get pretty much everything in here. And then we'll get herbalism up pretty high. And then that'll allow us to get leg day, which allows us to train strength while we're picking herbs. So probably do that because, again, we're going to need it before we start doing, you know, some, uh, some pretty crazy things. So I'll probably cut out right now so that we can I'll, I'll go do that and then I'll come back later uh, with an edit. But I will give little updates here and there. So I like to be very thorough and methodical with how I, I play. So if anybody's trying to follow this along, I generally start in one of the corners of the map and then I just do everything in that little quadrant. So like right now, anything north of the first villages, but south of these these walls or whatever direction this is, kind of in this little quadrant, we'll snap up everything here. Then we'll go to another section and just kind of go from there. So, all right, here we go. This is going to be so much fun picking flowers. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a minute. So we got our first level herbalism and it only took us maybe a minute or so. Maybe not even that to do it. So like I said, this is going to take a little while, but it's well worth it. And we hit herbalism level five. That wasn't actually too bad. So we're going to take flower power. This gives you plus two charisma when you've got herbs in your inventory. The other one has something to do with saddlebags. We're not going to have that for a long time. So flower power it is. And also we haven't eaten in quite a while. Poor, poor Henry. Very hungry. And there we go. Should be good. All right, back to work. But I think we cleared everything out in this quadrant, looks like. And that took us all the way up to level six, almost level seven, actually. But we'll keep going. We're going to go down here now. All right, that's everything around Kunish's house as well. Let's actually stay along the wall. Just going to clear the rest of this part out up to this fence. 
and then we'll start clearing the rest of the um, the village. So how much we've got 48.2 out of 78. So we've collected a ton. We've got 106 chamomile, 172 valerian. That's a lot. But there's a ton of sage on this side, so we'll have a lot of that. Let's do our uh, training real quick since we're here, rather than not have to come back up here if we don't have to. You have to put your weight into your attack. <laughs> if you just fiddle around, speaking never of repeat fiddling yourself. around. Nice. That's enough. Right, easy enough. Right, let's uh, let's keep collecting the rest. There's not too much. I got most of the stuff up here. I think that's pretty much it for this section as well. Yeah, it looks like we got everything on this side of the fence. So just that top part took us up to eight and a half. So we'll we'll do we'll do the rest. We need to get a bunch of nettles too, because that's going to give us the perk that um, gives you plus two vitality. So we'll let's go collect some some nettle. All right, we just hit herbalism level ten. So let's go ahead and take leg day. So this gives us strength every time we pick up herbs. Now, I haven't sold anything yet. So if you want to know exactly how many herbs you need to pick to get to level 10, it is 182 plus 67 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2. <laughs> so essentially, what is that? A little over a thousand. So a little over a thousand herbs and you can get level 10. And I'm looking at my recording. I am from the very beginning. I'm about 46 minutes in. So it's actually not that bad. Now, I'm going to go probably sell stuff to the charcoal maker and then also buy the charcoal just so we can have it. Actually, no, we'll save that for the end. Here we go. Let's go ahead and sell something. Finally made it to him. We're slow as a snail. So it probably makes sense. This guy's not going to have enough for everything, so let's sell what we have the most of. And if we sell 200, that's exactly where we need to be. But let's sell a little bit less so we can haggle. And this gives us a little bit of uh, speech. There we go. So we actually took it. Now the next trader, we can go to them down there, or we can just go to the lady in here. Let's just go to the actual shop. Now she's got 80, so she's got enough to probably buy all of our inventory. Let's see. Oh, no, definitely not. Let's go ahead and do that then. Can we do Sweet, so we got all that, and we are no longer overburdened. And we can go dump everything else off. Uh, no, we don't want to sell that stuff. I don't think these people are going to... I think mostly the ones that are doing... Yeah, mostly the ones that are doing food. My, I don't think the tools will take it. Oh, actually, this one will. Only got 20, though. Let's have and one. let's haggle this guy again. Oh. Agree? <laughs> oh that's... Cheap bastard. All right, we'll just sell the rest of him. There we go. So we got everything from him, and I think the food guys usually take it. Yeah, they will. Uh, this, this guy's got a lot, actually. So we don't have enough to buy him out. There we go. So that's all of our stuff. Uh, we have now 157 Groshen, not too bad. Really, that the more important thing is getting the stats. The Groshen's not a big deal. We're gonna make so much in this campaign, or this run. Keep wanting to call it a campaign, but it's, it's probably not. So we got a lot more picking to do though, so I will edit this out. We're pretty overburdened again, so um, let's go ahead, head back to the town center and sell a bunch of stuff. So we collected another, actually, what are we at skill-wise? We're almost at 12. And we collected another, what, five, six, close to a thousand. Oh yeah, down here. So a little bit over a thousand. Didn't quite get a strength point yet, though. Strength is almost a level four. I'm sure if we didn't have those extra two points into strength from the beginning, we'd be easily at level two, maybe three. And this guy still has quite a bit, so let's sell stuff to him. And of course, as always, we're going to haggle. Just a little one. And yeah, we didn't talk to this lady yet. Oh, but she doesn't want our stuff. That's unfortunate. I don't know who else to sell to. I think we might have gotten everything. I think everything else we'll either have to drop or just put in our storage. Uh, we're here. Might as well pick up the nettle. Oh, and speaking of nettle, I forgot to mention. We do get a perk called resistance. If you pick enough nettle herbs, you get a plus two to vitality. So that makes a pretty big difference. Start at level one. Now we're technically at level three. So just tripled that just by picking some herbs. Let's go see if Bianca can buy it. I don't remember if she does or not. She does not. Okay, so we gotta go up the hill. I don't really like going back and forth while overburdened, so we'll probably just do it this one time, and then for the next ones, we'll just go right before we hit overburdened so we can sprint. Otherwise, it takes a long time. And while we're here, let's go ahead and buy the 10 charcoal, and then we'll sell enough stuff to offset that. So we need to sell about 700? No, 70. Whoa. Let's see if he's willing to give us a deal. No, he doesn't want it. Oh, so now we get to head up to our stash. We'll store everything in our chest and then we'll end up getting it back a little bit later. Actually, I forgot to get the stuff up here by our house. 
we'll just do that since we're here. We'll get rid of everything, including our clothes. We don't really need it. It'll give us a little more carry capacity. So we got a bit more to pick, and it's hopefully going to get us to level 4 strength, which will make a pretty big difference, I think, when it comes to knocking people out. And we'll pick up what we need from up here as well. We need the cross guard. And a little bit of speech XP. And there's actually a little bit of stuff on this little pass, so we'll do that, and then we'll head south, grab a bunch of stuff, and we'll just keep ferrying it back and forth. There we go. We hit strength level 4, and that gives us the next perk. So we can take clinch master, gives 40% higher chance of overpowering the opponent in a clinch which is huge. So we'll definitely use that. And we're not done yet. I think it's probably better just to, to get everything here. This is going to be a really tough run and I don't want to leave anything to chance. I'd rather give us the best possible starting chance to get at least close to the end. I don't know that we'll get all the way, but we'll at least prepare as best we can. Went overburden. I didn't realize we were, so let's go drop that off real quick before it gets too crazy. Now we got to find something to eat. I think there's plenty of food in here though. Yeah, a bunch of onions. You know, really stinky breath. And some carrots. There we go. That should be fine for now. I think maybe one or two more loads will probably have almost the whole thing. We didn't really do much on the left side, but I think the right side has more. So that one's almost done. We gained a main level here. I don't know that we're going to use it yet. I don't think these are all that great. Some of these other ones are pretty good. Insomniac's pretty good. First aid, obviously, is pretty good. So we'll probably save that one. But yeah, strength is almost halfway. Herbalism, halfway to 14. So we're in good shape. Alright, so this, to the right side of this road, should all be... I don't want to say 100% picked. I'm sure I missed a few tiny spots here and there, but pretty much we got everything. So that puts us at Herbalism, 14. Strength is almost to 5. I mean, it's more than halfway, so pretty good. And again, we just drop everything off. And we'll take a lockpick and, and Groshen back. So we've got 1100 dandelion. We've got 1. Point, uh, sorry, 1300 nettle. A bunch of valerian sage. We're, and we need to steal all our stuff back that we sold. So we'll, we'll see what the true tally is. I'm really curious to see how many herbs are actually in skeletons. I think I got everything. I'm just doing one last sweep to make sure I didn't miss anything obvious. You know, missing one or two here and there, no big deal. But if there's a big patch. Oh, yep, here we go. Henry's a greedy bastard. He doesn't want to let a single one get through. And that takes our nettle up to 1.7k. And a few other things, but I think those are the big ones. I think we've got some lockpicks to use. We should probably go do that. And I'm going to use a savior schnapps just once. I want to create a save point right here because I plan on coming back and reusing this at some point. For this run, when Henry dies the first time, it's over. But like I said, I would rather not have to pick flowers and herbs for two hours again. We're at one minute, or sorry, one hour and 55 minutes as of this point. So I'm going to make a copy of this save and just reuse it later. All right, here we go. Now it's time to get some stuff. I think we got to steal a few things. So let's... Oh, that one went south. Yeah, we don't have any lockpicking skills, so this is not going to be that easy. There we go, we got it. Kinesha's still outside, and I don't think there's in any of these anything in any of these. Also, one thing, we could get some XP for, you know, fighting this guy. Ah! Just punch him a little bit. Nobody seems to really care. I'm going to enjoy this. And we can get some, some decent XP for that. Oh! Uh! Uh! Oh! Oh! And if we get hurt, we can just go back to our mama. Uh! Oh! Oh yeah, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Oh, we knocked him out. <laughs> Sweet. So we got a lot of strength from that. So let's get our axe back. We'll take everything off of Kanesh. And nobody really cares. So we'll go heal up from Mama. He'll wake up at some point. I think we can keep beating him up. I'm not sure about that. I'm just trying. I tried to pick all the herbs so I can get another level of strength. And it was so close. So now I think we'll just beat people up until we get that. And Kanesh seems to be a good target for it. Ma? Ah, Ma hurts. Won't stop bleeding. <laughs> oh, now stop. It's like one of the best scenes in the game. Let's uh, let's keep light 
So let's put stuff back in. Now we do need to hang on to Kanisha's stuff. Well, no, actually we don't. We can get it later. Yep, yeah, all we need is lockpicks. And Groshan doesn't weigh anything, so we'll hang on to that too. So let's go see if we can get all of our stuff back that we had sold earlier. We may need to take a perk in lock, uh, lock picking, the one that where you're if you're drunk, you get a little bit better skill. I think we'll need that to get into some of the harder ones, but it shouldn't be too bad. Now, where's Kanesh? Where's that crusty old man? Is he hiding like a baby? Yeah, there he is. We got unfinished business. I want to draw him outside. Here he comes. Yeah, as soon as you close that door, you're done. <laughs> Knocked him out again. Beautiful. All right, he doesn't have any loot on him anymore. And that did push us over to level five strength. And we even got a little carryover. So we're at level five. That should be more than enough to knock some people out. But we do have to be fairly conservative with this playthrough because, like I said, we're not saving. And I don't want to. If we get thrown in jail in the beginning, that means pretty much it's over. Which would be kind of funny. You know, we didn't make it all the way past the, the intro, but hopefully we can avoid that. Let's hit up all these in order Welcome these are good these are going to be too hard actually there might be some easier ones for us let's go ahead and shut the door so they can't see us rummaging around and we do need some food we're actually getting hungry soon yeah we're not going to be able to do the hard ones but we can probably go upstairs and find an easy one a bunch of hard and things to rob there we go here's an easy one all right, 14 groschen we'll take it and what do we got in here that's easy. I think these are going to be hard. Yeah, very hard and hard. No chance we get in there, but we can get some XP off this one. Too difficult. Interesting. Even though it's easy. I've noticed some locks seem to have... I, I don't I don't know what you would call it, but it's... They have like an internal boost, like in the game code, making it a little bit harder. Because I've seen some where they're hard and they'll let me do it, and some that are hard and they won't let me do it, even though it's, you know, I'm in the same lock picking level. So that's kind of interesting. But let's keep going. Now, this door's open. There's probably, s probably somebody in here. Yeah, there's a guy right there. What the hell was that? What's up? Yeah, step outside, my friend. Help me out. Actually, he's going to go outside for us anyways. That's fine. So you go get your water. I was going to say, we, we could knock him out and just do it without having to worry about it. But this is even easier. And he locked the door for us. So we can get XP for that, too. Wow. Instantly broke a lockpick. That was weird. It didn't even... Like, we didn't even have a chance. There we go. We got a level of lockpicking. That should help a little bit. Yeah, we got three lockpicks now. But we should be fine. I'll eat some of this food. Let's get this lock done before he comes back. Almost 15 groschen. We'll take it. And I doubt we'll get in this one. Yeah, that one's very hard. But that's fine. We got what we wanted. I don't think there's much back here. We'll go down to the next house. Now, there's two houses here. Let's do the one on this side first since we came from there. Just so I can remember... And hopefully nobody's in here. We'll take some food too. Yeah, just a storage room. Doesn't look like there's anything good in here. Yeah, just a bunch of food. We can always come back for it later if we want. Right, anybody come in? No, we should be good. Let's get in this one. 6.7 groschen. That's kind of sad. Dirt poor. All right, let's go across the street. Ooh, nice. We got lock picking and stealth off of that. Both these doors are locked. Let's do this one. I think this one is storage. So there's less likely to be a lady in there. Yeah, hard. We'll have to come back for that. And we're looking for alcohol. Not seeing any. All right, we got some mead. Yeah, just the one, but if we need to, we can use it later. Once we get that perk anyways, let's make sure nobody's coming. Is that the lady that lives here? It is. What's yeah. <laughs> so she spotted us, obviously. Let's see if we can draw her back here then. No, she's going to stop right there. Let's just knock her out. We don't need to harm. We're just going to take her stuff. And then that'll give us a chance to slip in here. Is this? No, that actually wasn't hers. Because we got the keys and it's still we still have to pick... So she must have just seen us from the distance and decided to be a nosy neighbor. All right, nobody here. 15 groschen from that one. And we'll take some food. Let's get out of here. Oh, ooh, you scared me. I know. Jesus. <laughs> oh, see how there's that lady. Where did she come from then? Good thing she didn't see us. Man, that was close. Yeah, that could have been bad. So I wonder if that lady that, that we spotted was from this house then. Let's try. Are right, we going to get a ton of... Oh, man. Broke another one. I wasn't paying attention and I let my mouse slip off in the wrong direction. It's all right. Let's reset that one. We already lost two. And just to make sure. Oh, he's right there. I don't know if he's coming in. Actually, let's just close the door. I think we'll be okay. Yep, nothing too good in there. This might be a tough one if the guy's outside. No, he's chopping logs. 13 grocery and there we go. And we can just get out. 
<laughs> I am not looking for you, but I'm glad you didn't catch us. All right, there's another lock right there we gotta get. All right, he's gonna be chasing us, so we might wanna might need to knock him out too. Oh no, he's going back. All right, you saved yourself a headache at least. All right, this lady's here. I'm waiting for you to go. All right, let's see if we can bait her out. We're gonna go and knock her out because she's not gonna be going anywhere. It's gonna be kind of hard to get past her. We'll just put her on the floor. Ah, oh, the husband. God, come here quick! There's a thief over there. 